Hello guys and welcome back to a new Applied Analytics 2 tutorial and in this episode we will take a further look into the MA Fluid import bus and um, how you can import some fluids into your ME system. And um, for the ME fluid import bus we need uh, two iron ingots, one sticky piston, one annihilation core and two green dye. And um, I already built up a small ME system with an ME controller, a fluid terminal, an ME drive with two installed ME fluid storage cells and at least our fluid import bus. And um, if I um, um, Put in some water in our tank, we can uh, see and that nothing happens because our MA fluid import bus is installed or configured um, on lava. That means I need to put in some lava. Um, so if we go um, like that, we can see that our lava is pumped into our ME system and we already have one bucket of lava in our fluid terminal. The normal co configuration of a, a fluid import bus is, um, is nothing. So that means it will always import every liquid which um, inter can interact with um, Applied Energy 6.2. Um, that means if we put in some water like that, we can see that um, we already have one bucket of lava in, in there. Okay. And, um, and our second um, bucket is already um, in our storage system. Okay. And um, like you uh, saw, um, if I use um, our fluid import bus, a filter like that um, like lava, that means uh, only lava can pass through the ME fluid import bus. And um, yeah, that's um, how the import bus is working. And you can also install some upgrades, um, for example, a capacity card, a redstone card, and an acceleration card um, to get more speed in your import bus. And um, yeah, that's how it works. Thanks for watching and bye.